Hey, did you grow up in Lagos? Oh, yes, I grew up in Lagos. Oh, God, though. If not, you should have been security. That's the best place to live. Um, I can't risk my life to go back to Nigeria. I don't want to die there. Ah. Not even for a billion dollar. Oh, my days! It's popular belief that an average Nigerian wants to exit Nigeria, wants to migrate to other countries for a better life and better opportunities. And that is what we call Japa. Yes, an average Nigerian wants to Japa. So in this video, I'm going to be interviewing Nigerians living in the UK on their thoughts about living in the UK. Best believe that not everyone is happy living in the Western world. Some persons actually want to go back to Nigeria. Hey guys, so I'm currently in the streets of the UK. So I'm going to be asking random Nigerians, random Africans I meet on the streets about living in the UK, what they like about the UK, what they miss about back home. And of course, the big question is, would you go back to your home country if you had the chance? So you guys, this promises to be fun. Don't go anywhere because only promises to be engaged. Please make sure you like this video. And so you guys, let's go let's go let's go hey let's go let's go let's go let's hit the street together hey guys so i just met this beautiful lady hello what's your name elizabeth oh elizabeth are you nigerian yeah nigerian wow so elizabeth when did you move to the country May 20 um october wow that's like two years ago how are you finding it so far <laughs> good the bad the ugly <laughs> as in, in the uk you experience the good the bad and the ugly but yeah what exactly would you say you love about the uk so far uh the fact that it's um system works yeah the system works uh, as opposed to back in Nigeria where it doesn't work at all and you know I know right we can't even complain we manage it like that <laughs> so what do you miss about living in Nigeria I miss food hi god fin somebody finally says it you guys I miss street food I miss the ability to just walk into a restaurant and buy cheap food but yeah it's so expensive Buka, please bring my book to the UK <laughs> I swear, we'll book us to you. I want going. Did you grow up in Lagos? Oh, yes, I grew up in Lagos. Oh, God, oh. Anyway, it's well. <laughs> we cannot complain. So, the final question is if you had the chance to migrate to Nigeria permanently at any point in your life, would you go back to Nigeria? To be honest, I probably wouldn't. <laughs> oh, why? Your home country. <laughs> you need to be patriotic. It then is, I could always go back home for holidays and all, but move permanently. See, we've seen how things are in the UK and, things, and how things in Nigeria. I probably would never even think of going home. <laughs> <laughs> so, guys, I just met this perfect gentleman. Hello, what's your name? Uh, my name is Sarah. So, I'm just going to be asking you a couple of questions about living in the UK. So, when did you move to the UK? I came in January. Wow, you're new. Oh, how are you finding it? Uh, we're just coping and um, try to get acclimatized with the environment. But uh, it's okay. Yeah. At least we are getting used to whatever things happen around. Oh, mm. my dears. You just came. Oh, so, do you miss Nigeria? Um, honestly, Nigeria is the best place to enjoy life. I swear, if only if you have money. If not, you should have insecurity. That's the best place to live. Yeah, that's the truth. Honestly, I, I miss Nigeria too. So, the final question is, would you go back to Nigeria if you had the chance to go permanently? Like, perma permanently exit the UK to live in Nigeria? Well, I'll be glad to go back to Nigeria if the opportunity comes. Opportunity in the sense that some something will be fixed. Mm. Somebody finished university like I graduated from far back to 2005. Oh. You know what I mean? So maybe still like years, you don't have a job or whatever. So what are you going to do? Then you finally get something as do some one, maybe I still one or two business or you have a job. Problem of insecurity nowadays. So it's not a matter of how old you are. In Nigeria, yeah. so the most important thing is insecurity. In fact, that's the major reason why I left. Because even the rich are not even safe. That is the problem because I, I have a business in Nigeria which is doing well, mm -hmm. but it's because of issue of threat of life and the kidnapping, whatever. Mm -hmm. So even came to my doorsteps. So because of that, I had to leave. Mm -hmm. So. Unless the first things, uh, I'll be glad to go back to Nigeria. It's still the best place to live. Oh, Siri, that's so honest of you. I really appreciate your honesty. And I wish you the very, very best in the UK. Yeah, you. Asking girl, your skin just like bad. You guys are looking so beautiful. Thanks. Seriously, I love black skin girls when I see them. What's your name? Olam Day. Oh, Olam Day. Ola. How are you? I'm fine. No. How are you saying I'm good. So I just want to ask you guys a few questions. So when did you move to the UK? Last year. Um when exactly? September. Last year, December. How are you finding it so far? 
um really nice a lot of new people though so. yeah so i know right so i have one last question for you guys now if you had a chance to go back to nigeria permanently would you go back until the country has exchanged you know <laughs> how about you right because the country is bad at the moment it's oh. not yeah it's not like i'm i can't risk my life to go back to nigeria i don't want to die there ah so are you trying to see that people that are in nigeria they are risking their lives living there basically yeah but what can they do right so if you had a chance to say something to a nigerian that really wants to move to the uk what would you say to the person i would say first of all it's not that easy it's seeing us here we didn't fly or to come here you have to like work for your money and when you feel like you have enough then you can proceed to the next level that's so true yeah you don't really have to be in the haze don't go and do yahoo because you want to come to the uk or just jj i just met this handsome man here and i'm going to be interviewing him hello what's your name uh, my name is chucky oh hi chucky so chucky how long have you been in the uk um 15 years 15 years you're british you're not nigerian absolutely i feel like i'm interviewing a british guy because this the purpose of this video is to interview nigerians so it's safe to say you're nigerian british well um i was nigeria before i became british oh hey if we, can you forget that so nigerians like us now we should just give you space <laughs> yeah, nigerian in me can never die <laughs> i know right in nigerian yeah, you're first a Nigerian before being a British. Oh, absolutely. So, Chucky, I've been lived in the UK for 15 years. What do you like about the UK so far? Um, I got a whole lot of things. Uh, first of all, the security. Yeah. Um, the weather to some extent. You, you like, like the weather? I don't like it when it's too hot. You know, like back home, you know, yeah, it's humid. Yeah, it's, it's, it's cool. Yeah, it's cool. Yeah, just yeah, cool. Yeah. Then also i mean it's an organized society yeah where obviously you can go about your business anytime you want no fears you know you just have a very relaxed mind that's you true know, I just i'll give an example um i lived in lagos so i go out quite a lot in the night and when i go out then coming back from the club because i lived in a state you'll be like you have to be you know like know some roads to mm -hmm. avoid at that time of the night like going through a papa it's a no no or if your cash you know like you, you, you just on your toes yeah but unlike here i go out anytime sometimes i don't even drive i would just by 2 a.m 3 i just go get a train and go and enjoy myself and when coming back you don't feel like so you know you have a very relaxed kind of mind yeah i absolutely agree with you and security is paramount security. okay so with all these things you've said do you miss nigeria at all if yes what exactly do you miss about living in nigeria i miss our, our food you know it's organic everybody keeps saying food and seriously i agree because what we hit with is preserved food yeah but back home is organic exactly and also i meet the light life ninja is ninja ah. you can't compare i know right okay i have one final question for you if you had the opportunity to go back to nigeria permanently at any point in your life would you go back to nigeria not even for a billion dollar oh my days you guys that's so extreme you know, even when you're old when i'm older i i'll shuttle I'll, when i retire mm. i'll be going back home often but, but I'm not, not to just you know, be based you, there you, you want to be okay like it takes for example i have an uncle he had an accident he was having in the usual morning jogging in first act had an accident and went to the first hospital in yaba oxygen wasn't working they had to move him to another hospital while trying to transit him he died just like that oh but, you know things like that can't happen here if there is any kind of emergency within minutes yeah uh, my wife when my wife was pregnant she had an issue i called uh, an, an ambulance within okay. three minutes before i could drop my phone they were there oh you guys can you for you that you can buy these things yeah. so obviously so <laughs> i just read this young man i dragged him here hello what's your name my name is ab ab oh wow you're nigerian yeah yeah what do you like about the uk so far um, I think the best thing about the UK is close to Nigeria, so you can go home in six hours, eighteen hours, and there's a lot of Nigerian food and there's a lot of Nigerian people. That's good. Yeah, that's true. Like US, that is so far away, and Australia, that is really like miles away. So, um, what do you miss about living in Nigeria? Um, I go often, so I don't miss too much. Um, I, I speak with my friends. I eat Nigerian food. I don't miss that much. Are you still visiting Nigeria since twenty nineteen? that's a while yeah i call a lot I oh lucky you so if you had the chance to move to nigeria permanently would you move 
Yeah, yeah, I'll be open to that. I can live anywhere, so it's just yeah. It's, yeah. Really, you're happy to go. What positive result finally do have a great day. Thank you. What's your name? Fisola. Fisola. Oh my god, I love that name. Yoruba. Yes. Oh, uh, where are you from? Nigeria. Oh, great. So, Fisola, when did you come to the UK? Last year, September. Wow, you're just like a year old in the UK. Yeah. So, do you like the UK? Kind of. <laughs> so, what do you like about the UK so far? I'm telling you nothing. Nothing. Are you serious? Nothing. So, what do you miss about Nigeria? Vibe. Oh, I know, right? If I had a chance to go back to Nigeria, would you go back? Yes. Permanently? No. no. Why? Because of the government. Oh, I know, right? The insecurity in Nigeria can be so crazy. Thank you so much. I really I really appreciate your presence. I hope you enjoy your stay in the UK. So, guys, I literally had to drag her. Hello, what's your name? Hi, my name is Stella. Oh, hi, Stella. So, Stella, how long have you been in the UK? I've been in the UK for the past four years now. Yeah. Four years. Oh, my God, four years. Yeah. Well, that's a long it's time. September, yeah? So yeah. I came to UK 2018 September 15th. You're not like Mama UK. <laughs> no, you're, you're, you're just, you know. Okay, so do you like it here? Uh, not too bad so far, to be honest. Like, mm. for me from Nigeria, like, I mean, <laughs> ah, it's better. I mean, I'm not even going to lie. I'm not going to lie. It's okay. It's not bad. Like, this is what everybody keeps saying. People keep saying, coming from Nigeria, ah, I can't even complain. Right? Is Nigeria that bad? At first, then, when I came to the UK, I hated it. Yeah. I'm not going to lie. I hate, oh my God, because this country, eh, hmm, if you don't know people or if you don't have friends, you'll be depressed. So, yeah. at first, coming to this country, I was like, ah, no, no, I'm going back. I'm not a fan of abroad. Growing up, like, I was never like, mm -mm. Wow. Like, even when I was in school, I don't say I'll travel abroad. I don't like it. But wow. the reason why I came to this country was because after I got married, everybody was like, hey, you're leaving your husband, you travel abroad, you go abroad, you know those G's mm, now, yeah. they'll be like, they'll meet someone. And I said, okay, I have to go with my husband. Yeah. <laughs> so that's why I came. So, my dear, I have to come with him. Wow. Tight. That's just but, why I came to this country. Wow. So, like, I'm not a fan of abroad. So, coupled with the boringness of this country. Yeah, yeah. Ah, no, no, I don't like it. Though. Oh, okay. But, but would you say you're liking the UK now? Yes, I'm liking it now. now. I think now it's better okay. because I've now have friends. Mm. You have a job, you go to work, you meet people, you laugh. Same here. When I came to the UK, I hated it so much. But now, we are managing. Yeah, we're managing. <laughs> I want to ask you one final question. So, if you had the chance to go back to Nigeria mm. permanently, would you leave the UK for Nigeria at any point in your life? I would rather eh, seek for asylum. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, that's so extreme, yeah. Stella. With the situation of like the situation of the country without if you're from nigeria and you're watching this video you should understand trust me i'd rather go and see for asylum and tell them <laughs> me, i cannot go back my, i cannot go back to my i can only go and visit mm. like at this stage of my life wow i've given up you don't like the vibe but do you miss nigeria at all yes i miss nigeria that's the truth but if my family are here i will not even bother myself about nigeria wow. but because of my family friends mm. so i will definitely want to go home and visit but aside from it mm. no so having interviewed these guys i know right now the question on your mind is you melissa are you that is doing this video would you go back to nigeria if you had the chance to and what exactly do you love about living in the uk all right you guys so <laughs> okay first of all i moved to the uk january 2019 that's like three years ago and to be honest the uk isn't that bad but then it can be really really boring and to be honest i really really miss the craziness of nigeria i miss the noise i miss the food i just miss the environment but i feel like if i should go back to nigeria for a visit i might stop missing nigeria like that's how it was but yeah i really miss the food and then what do i love about living in the uk hmm, so many things a lot and lots of opportunities in the uk like, nothing can actually limit in the uk and i love the fact that the system here works i remember there was a time an employer refused to pay me for reason best known to her but yeah i had to report her to citizens advice and they stepped into the case and that woman paid me but if i was in nigeria my case would be all you i hate the oppression in nigeria i hate the insecurity in nigeria and the uk is so secure like you can go anywhere you want to go at any time of the day so yeah if you are thinking of moving to the uk i encourage you to move trust me make that big move and i believe you you're not going to regret it and would i go back to nigeria if i had the chance to yeah yes 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 again again and again if i had the chance to go back to nigeria and live like in a very beautiful estate live a luxurious life have people have a driver have a chef have nannies hey who does not want the enjoyment i will go so share with me in the comment section your thoughts if you had the chance to go back to nigeria or if you're an african watching me if you had the chance to go back to your 
home country to live there permanently would you go back share with me in the comment section thank you so much for watching this video i see you all in my next one guys bye